What if the most insane urban experiment in history actually works? In 2025, the line is no longer just a dream in the desert. Steel, concrete, and mirrored walls are rising in Saudi Arabia for real. But can this sci-fi city survive reality, or is it already cracking under pressure? For years, the line felt like just another billionaire's fever dream, a glittering 3D render destined to collect dust in some future city's folder. But in early 2025, something quietly shifted. Zoom in on a remote stretch of desert near the Gulf of Aqaba. What was once an unbroken canvas of sand now is telling a different story. You'll see cranes towering like skeletal giants cutting through the haze. Workers' camps spread out in clusters. Roads, new, wide, and freshly carved, snake their way to a massive construction zone. But you know what's the real surprise? The Earth isn't just scarred, it's reshaped. At the center of all this is a place called the Hidden Marina. And it's not just a nickname, that's the actual title of the first major segment of the line. And according to satellite imagery released by Business Insider in February of 2025, the transformation is undeniable. Massive piling rigs have already driven steel deep into the desert floor. The foundations of a 2.4-kilometer mirrored tower are now locked in place. It's no longer a digital fantasy. This is real concrete, real workers, real money is being poured into the sand. And yet, the mystery still remains. Why start with the marina? Why bury billions into one tiny slice of a 170-kilometer vision? That's kind of what makes this moment so surreal. It's like watching the prologue of a sci-fi epic unfold in real time. And nobody can say for sure if it's the start of a masterpiece or a very expensive mistake. So, what exactly is rising from this desert dust? The answer lies in a stretch they're calling the Hidden Marina, and despite its mysterious name, there's nothing subtle about what's planned here. This is no humble pilot project, it's a luxury playground designed to impress the world and, more importantly, reassure investors that the line can deliver on at least some of its promises. According to reports from Dezeen and CNN, this initial segment will stretch somewhere between 2.4 and 5 kilometers, a tiny fraction of the full 170-kilometer vision. But within that sliver, they're packing in enough ambition to rival entire cities. Just think. Gleaming high-rise apartments, 9,000 hotel rooms, a waterfront marina, high-end restaurants, stadiums, and yes, even an indoor ski slope in the middle of the Arabian desert. That's wild. By 2030, the hidden marina is supposed to house 200,000 to 300,000 residents, not including the tourist inflow. In every sense, it's the flagship zone, the proof of concept, the crown jewel. But let's be honest here, this isn't being built for your average citizen. From the design to the amenities, the hidden marina seems tailor-made for VIPs, influencers, and the international elite. And like any good showroom, it's less about how people will live and more about selling the dream. And here's the billion dollar question. If this one segment dazzles the world, will it be enough to unlock the funds, tech, and political will to build the rest? Or will the line stall right here? Beautiful, ambitious, but forever unfinished. If the hidden marina is the showroom, then the full vision of the line is the sales pitch. And what a pitch it is. The line isn't just trying to be a city, it's trying to redefine what a city even is. On paper, or more accurately on NEOM's glossy website, this place reads like something ripped straight from a sci-fi screenplay. The entire structure runs on 100% renewable energy. No emissions, no pollution, no sprawl. Just clean vertical efficiency. The city is stacked in layers, literally. Just imagine this. Pedestrians walk peacefully on the surface surrounded by greenery and public spaces. Below them, logistics tunnels, drone highways, water lines, and high-speed cargo systems. All humming away unseen. And you better forget traffic jams. There are no cars and no roads. Instead, a high-speed rail line runs through the core, connecting one end of the city to the other in just 20 minutes. 
all while everything you need from work to groceries is supposedly within a five-minute walk. But perhaps the boldest claim of all, AI is going to run the city. Not just for navigation or security, but for managing climate inside the mirrored walls, monitoring energy use, and even predicting your needs before you ask. On paper, it's utopia, a city without chaos, a life without waste. But isn't that the problem? While all of this sounds perfect, the world has heard these promises before. Smart cities, eco cities, AI cities. Most collapsed under their own hype. Some never even made it past the concept phase. So the question becomes, is the line a brilliant leap into the future or is it just the world's most expensive PowerPoint presentation? But eventually, even the shiniest render collides with the harshness of reality. Because while the dream is massive, 170 kilometers long, 500 meters tall, and home to 1.5 million people by 2030, the current blueprint has quietly been trimmed. According to Bloomberg and CNBC reports from December 2024, the new goal isn't a futuristic ribbon of glass stretching across the desert. It's a tiny sliver of that dream, just 2.4 to 5 kilometers of development. That's it. And even that's pushing the limits of what's feasible before the end of the decade. Why the change? The reasons are stacking up pretty fast. First, there's the obvious, funding issues. Despite Saudi Arabia's oil wealth, building a megastructure of this scale costs more than just cash. It requires unwavering investor confidence, global partnerships, and precise execution. Then come the construction delays, supply chain disruptions, and the brutal challenge of building anything at this scale in the middle of a blazing desert. Add to that the simmering regional instability, political tensions, shifting alliances, and it's not hard to see why the original timeline is quickly unraveling. The most recent estimates? We're now looking at a 2045 to 2070 full completion window. That's assuming the project isn't canceled, redesigned, or indefinitely paused. The truth is, the line may never be the singular, seamless city we were shown in early trailers. Instead, it might emerge as a series of disconnected urban blocks. Impressive, for sure, but scattered and symbolic more than practical. And if that's where we're heading, is it still the line? Or is it just a few bold experiments in the desert stitched together by ambition alone? And yet, for all the risks, the scandals, and the skepticism, there's still that lingering what if. What if the line actually works? Because this isn't just about Saudi Arabia building a mega project in the desert. Because if successful, the line could trigger a paradigm shift in how cities are imagined, not just in the Middle East, but across the planet. It's a radical prototype for building in climate hostile zones like deserts, coasts, and even floodplains. A city without roads, powered by renewables, run by artificial intelligence. If pulled off, it could become the first truly post-oil, post-car, post-sprawl metropolis. I mean, just think of the implications. Less land use, less pollution, hyper-efficiency. Megacities wouldn't have to spread out endlessly anymore. They could grow upward, not outward. The World Economic Forum has already called the line a potential blueprint for post-industrial urbanism, a way to accommodate growing populations without further wrecking the environment. But there's a darker possibility too. If this model proves successful, it might also normalize extreme surveillance, algorithmic governance, and exclusion by design. Cities built for efficiency might also become cities that control, where only the wealthy or productive are welcome. So as the line pushes forward, we're left with a bigger question. Are cities of the future being built for everyone or just the elite few who can afford the view? The line is no longer just a concept. It's real and it's rising. Steel is in the ground, cranes are in the sky, and whether we're ready or not, the most radical urban experiment in history is underway. It's a civilization-level gamble, a test of engineering, economics, ethics, and imagination. Could it become a utopian marvel, a shining model for a sustainable future? Or is it destined to be a $1 trillion mirage, beautiful in renderings, but disastrous in execution? The world is watching, and the stakes couldn't be higher.
So would you live in the line? Let us know in the comments, because this isn't just Saudi Arabia's future anymore. It might just be ours. That's all for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more updates, subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you don't miss any videos and get your notifications on time. And don't hesitate to leave suggestions in the comments for the next video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.